Grand Rising, wonderful souls, and welcome to the North Star Tarot. This is a timeless collective reading on what is coming forward. I hope you're having a good day, a good evening, wherever you are in the world. Just thought I'd give this a little bit of a cleanse. Please remember this is a collective timeless reading, which means I can be picking up on past, present, or future energy. And with it being collective, I am picking up on a lot of different people's energy. So if parts of this reading do not resonate for you, that's absolutely okay. It means it will resonate for someone else. Okay. Please know that if I use the genders of he, she, masculine or feminine, I'm picking up on um, energies. It's up to you whether you assign a gender or not. You don't have to if it does not resonate for you that way. Please know, though, um, that this these readings that I do are for entertainment purposes only. Anything that comes up to do with the legality of um, I don't know, going to going to court or pregnancy, medical or mental health. Make sure that if they do resonate for you, that you are speaking to people within those areas before taking any advice from moi. Okay. Now, incense for you, my lovelies. Incense for me. Let's pop this over here, and I'm also using the bell. Okay. I'm going to be ringing this in three, two, one. Okay, you want to go over there? Interesting. I've been told to go right over here to where I've just popped this bell down. So let's move this and get them out. Now, messages that came through were dripping in gold or gold on black and ghosts of Christmas past. And then it's all a costume. So I don't know if they mean it's all a masquerade um, and then attention overload. Someone needs to slow their mind down a little bit because they're being overstimulated. Or maybe there is someone here that's feeling overstimulated. Um, nice to see you, lovelies. I hope you're doing well. Yeah, look, magical space clearing time and breaking dawn. Somebody needs to sweep the, the ground, the floor. Um, there's something that's trying to attach to someone here that's blocking them from having some sort of um, deep spiritually spiritual awakening or their third eye opening. Maybe someone wants to watch, um, there's a lot of like uh, clearing transmissions on YouTube that have like the violet flame. Oh my gosh, I forgot I had this between my boobs. What sudden I, I've just been sitting there for hours. <laughs> someone made me to charge their heart chakra. That's really, really funny. Wow, that's not, you know what, it's not a coincidence. Someone obviously needs to cleanse their heart space. And that's interesting, I've got a card that's not even part of this. Serpentine path to power. Okay, there's definitely the energy of an awakening happening, but you have invasion boundaries violated and dominance. Someone doesn't want this to happen. Someone does not want this to happen. I'm going to go like that because she's naked. Okay, which makes sense with that message of ghost of Christmas past. There is somebody from the past that is trying to hold on to you, hold on to someone from the collective. But the number at the top is a 28 condensed down to 10. That is the ending of a cycle. Okay, and especially with breaking door in reverse, somebody has adamant that you are not going through some sort of portal and that you, you are to stay with them. Again, this is to do with like um a had central um dominance. Central dominance. Somebody wants to dominate you. Shall I put this out? No. Somebody wants to dominate you. Someone doesn't like that they can't dominate you or the person that you're thinking of. Transition to the spirit realm and then breaking dawn. They may be trying to send something to you to block you to your home. Because I don't know if you can see it. That's my home um, sign. I haven't used that in ages or I haven't seen it in ages. What are they sending? So you've got powerful personal growth. It's to stop this from happening because you're going, someone here is going through a metamorphosis. It's almost like, um, you know, when you think of those hermit crabs and when they are, um, when they outgrow their shell, they, I don't know if it's all, if it's hermit crabs or there's certain crabs that um, they kind of like will barter with other crabs to see which crab, you know, um, when one crab leaves their shell, they're like, oh, I'll take that shell. And then they leave their shell and someone else will take their shell. There's, there's a moving up, there's an expansion that's happening, and someone's trying to keep you in a shell that's too small for you. But that number up there condensed into a five is about change. Change is coming anyway. I heard the waters of change. The waters of change. And I've got the song by Garbage Crush in my head. It's just a little crush. And then you've got your, sensu your sensuality is beautiful. Somebody is mesmerized by you. 
or someone is trying to use um sensual energy to keep you bound to them because you've got breaking dawn here as well and it's in reverse so someone here is still trying to use sensual energy to stop you from moving forward and you've got here the power of three yeah but the thing is as well is that it's upside down so that it isn't the power of the of three i feel like someone has already thwarted two out of three people that may have been working together and there's like one left yeah be your true self someone's been outed as being inauthentic someone keeps changing the color of their hair i heard um because this red fairy with it being in reverse, this this person keeps changing the colour of their hair. And you've got, I remember, the per personal powerful growth. You've got somebody who is naturally a redhead. And then you have this, you know, be your true self, this copycat energy that keeps dyeing their hair and changing it. So I don't know if this person is the one that still has their eye on you or whoever it is in the collective. They do not want to let go of you. Um, let me get more on this. Tell me more about who's this ghost of Christmas past? Who is the ghost of Christmas past? Another redhead holding on way too tight. Somebody that has to let you, you go or you let go of them or you outgrew them. There's something about you outgrowing them in important and a new beginning. Exactly. They may have been trying to um, hack technology. They may be an Aquarius. They don't have to be. They could have been in a circle of friends. Love is strangers in reverse. They were rejected in some way. They were rejected. Transitions to the spirit realm. They're rejected. They don't have the same love of... Their ancestors don't love them the way that your ancestors love you. Or they found something out. They found a truth out about... um. What is this to do with like the heart space? They got told something. Angel de los, de los muertos. The angel of death. So I don't know if they work with, with Santa Maria, maybe, um, or they work with um, some, I don't know, they did something over the Day of the Dead. They did something on the Day of the Dead, which wasn't that long ago. But you have got here um, the, witch of the, the Witch at the End of the World, and you also have, and that's something, do you know what, it's giving me, trying to alter timelines, because it's reminding me of um, Loki on um, Disney+. Plus. And the it's not the witch at the end of the world, but there's the director at the end of the world. And, you know, how he knows everything that's going to happen before it happens. And all of the different, like, timelines that start to break off. Um, an important end, a new beginning. And then time for a change to learn something new, to use technology and gadget, gadgets with wisdom is upside down. But this person's been blocked off in some way. They've even been blocked off in the ethers. So they don't know what's coming next. They don't know what the alternate reality is or they don't know what the alternate version of what's going to happen. But also in this realm, there's something they did that they thought at the time was really clever. Another flipping redhead. Um, and it says here, a wonderful idea and a aha moment, but it's upside down. And you've got time for a tree in reverse. So this person is now regretting what they did because they were trying to steal some sort of ancient wisdom. And they're realising that it was actually a lesson. There's some sort of lesson with the past to returns for a time. Ghost, ghosts of the flipping past. Ghosts of the past. They may have tried hacking something. They tried hacking an account. They've been blocked out of something. There's some sort of evidence or something that they were trying to get to. That they wanted to either take away, take back, hide, get rid of. I don't know if they had a seance or they had they used a Ouija board or they did something and they were told that they weren't getting the love that they thought they were or they couldn't steal someone's love or someone that the person that they loved didn't love them so they wanted to change who they were they have been spying somebody's been spying on you this person that keeps changing their hair or changing their appearance or whoever it is that's been copying you this is weird energy. This is really weird energy. This person is so upset. They can't get over something. Can't miss the chaos upside down. Yeah, this person can't get over something. I heard that you won. Aloha healing. Yeah, they can't get over it. They can't get over it. They can't get over it. This person is the type of person who holds a grudge just to hold a grudge. They joke that they will quite happily take other people's grudges. And share those grudges. I'll take them. What do you need me to do? They may actually do that. That may be their job. Magical space clearing time. Yeah, they kind of 
um, try to connect things to other people or take people's karma or they see themselves as being the right hand of karma even though like, you hear people saying that like I'm just helping karma out karma doesn't need your help you are a human being you are a speck of flipping grain in the vastness that is the cosmos that is the divine source of all universe doesn't need help from you the universe has all its different laws it has its cause and effect karma isn't a person that you go up to and be like hey can i help you out with that job no it's action to consequence and this person has been i feel like this person takes money to enact karma on people but really it's to do with grudges and what goes around comes around this person's now stuck themselves with something that they can't get rid of and they may be trying to send something towards you and saying that it's karma it's intoxication, distorted view, and overindulgence. So they're sending this to someone. They're trying to get someone to overeat, overspend, oversleep, not sleep enough. Um, something. There's something here that they're trying to attach to someone. So you're being told to cleanse your space out. Smoke cleanse. Um, I said, I, I went to say, smoke cleanse your aura or your third eye because they're trying to block something. They're trying to block something. They want you to be seen as disingenuous. Mm -hmm. this do you know what this person may have two different color eyes they don't have to but i'm just looking at hers or they may wear contacts they may have started wearing contacts as well to change the color of their eyes maybe to, to change the, the color of their eyes to yours this person may also wear contacts because they something's happened to the irises or the pupils of their eyes because this person may do like graveyard they may be a graveyard witch or they may work with necr necromancy. I've said this before in my um, my readings, it's my opinion. I think necromancy and graveyard witches. There's a difference between connecting in an honourable way to those who have passed over. But if you do necromancy, you are pulling up those who are sleeping, who are resting. It's different from being a medium. Medium, you're opening up a door and going, would you like to come through and have a conversation? Necromancy is saying, you're going to get up and you're going to come and do what I tell you because I've told you to do it and you have no free will. I'll bind you and make you do it. Okay? This disrespectful. This person has just got a disrespectful air to them altogether. I don't like it. I do not like it. This number on here with the number two, this person is looking for balance in their life. Intoxication, distorted view and overindulgence, fairy of the divine hand. They feel like they are divine or they want to be divine or they want what you have because they see that you are divine. And this person has accumulated a lot of really dark karma. And I heard not from this, just from this life, but from others. And now they're trying to send, send, put this onto you in some way. Yeah, they, they, they don't want it. They don't want to hold on to it. It's, it's, it's blocking them. It's completely blocking their, I their third eye, their foresight, maybe even their clairvoyance. And you've got here the signs are with you already, snow angel, and then a clear solution in reverse. So this person doesn't want you to look. They want, there's something about affecting your sixth house. They're definitely trying to affect someone's Virgo placements. So have a look where Virgo is. If you don't have Virgo in your placements, this may not be your reading, and that's okay. Um, but the signs are with you already. They're trying to do something hidden. I had call on your main guide. Your main guide. For someone, it could be a Nancy. For others, it can be Loki, maybe. I don't know why that came up. For others, it may be Hecate. For others, it can be an ancestor. And I'm looking at the, the clock on my oven. It says 1444. Four, four. That may be confirmation for someone. 222 two, two may be very um, confirming. 555. Five, five. Seeing repeating numbers. Um, collisions of belief, styles, attitudes and energies. Yeah, they're trying to hide themselves. They're trying to hide what's around them as well. Because you've got here stifled, bored and stuck in reverse. And then you have ghost people in reverse. So they're trying to get something to come into your energy. There may be a false light that they're trying to send into your energy. They want you guided wrong. There's someone that's coming in. Look, you've got voodoo back off. Come now, this person's really playing around with spell work. And they want to bring in an important end. So they can get this new beginning. They're looking at your root chakra as well. This is root to crown. Root to crown. This one, this one. Where do you want me to go? Here. Here. They're trying to... Um, there's something about messing with your inner compass. 
or getting you to doubt yourself or to and they want to block your channel by the book and look what came out a card that's not even part of this and it says vampire makes you aware that someone or something is draining your life force this person is trying to get their hooks into you okay so someone here needs to do some sort of somatic release movement. I'm seeing someone jumping up and down, shaking out their body. Someone needs to do this every morning and every evening. Move yourself. Open your windows to your bedroom when you wake up in the morning, whether or not it's the middle of winter. Get the air moving. All right, because this person here are depleting others of your psychic for your psychic survival, chronic complaining and codependency. This person is codependent on you, on your energy, on your creativity, and you've got flexibility and co-create. They want to know what you're going to do next, okay, because you've got Treasure Island in reverse. This person is trying to get you to co-create the wrong reality for yourself. They're trying to get you to change your own story. Remember, you're the main character in your story. No one can go against your free will unless you allow them to. I keep hearing overindulgence. They want they want you to um this overeat or overthink certain things. But this person is literally a projection of how they feel. Because I did a reading before and it was talking about how this person um how they manifest or how they do spell work. And there was something about um I was seeing like a ball of light, almost like I don't know if there is somebody who sees themselves as a white witch or as a like a light worker witch who uses like golden light and like solar plexus, happiness, almost like when Peter Pan is teaching, you know, Wendy and um, what then Wendy, John and Michael, I think it is, how to fly. You know, you've got the fairy dust, but you have to think happy thoughts, think happy thoughts, think happy thoughts, and the more they think about it, the more they start to you know float up. And that's kind of like. I am a practicing light witch. When I do spells, and I do spells for blessings, for hope, for grounding, for protection, for cleansing my energy, for, you know, blessing the home, um, I don't do negative stuff because at the end of the day, you are me and I am you. We have the same energy that flows through us. If I harm you, I'm harming myself. And why would I want to do that? Um, so this is about, you know, and I also do um, spells for boundaries to keep myself safe. But when I do that, I am thinking happy thoughts. It all comes from your solar plexus. It's a ball of sun, you know. This person does the opposite. They're taking all of the hate, all of the bitterness, all of the distaste, all of the things that they feel about themselves. And I don't know who taught them this, but it's like rage. It's almost like when you watch um, Stranger Things and when... Um, 11 meets her sister who's number eight and she's in like this misfit gang and she's like no you have to think of harness all of the anger think of all of the pain all of the things that went wrong that's how you harness your power to get her to move this train but she doesn't need to do that she literally does not need to do that and this person here that's what they use they use all their bitterness and their anger and their pain into like a, a black ball and then they send it out but this person is codependent. They're codependent on your energy in some way. Okay. Because you've got co-create here, flexible and treasure island. They want you to stop alchemizing the stuff that they send you. They want you to hold on to it. And I can feel it. It's like it hurts them. It's like almost like when they breathe in, it feels like jagged spurs. And that came up in one of my other readings about like spurs of some sort like little black spurs with hooks on it but it's in them because they've been doing this for so long that i heard that this person could have a cough or this person has ill health they're getting karma for something what are they getting karma for because look you've got yang and by the book because you keep doing things by the book you are the magician and look at the numbers on there i don't know if you can see from here one and eleven one, one, one. You are doing things by the book. You have a good moral compass. Why is this person coming out? Loyal heart in reverse. Thinker and change in the wind. So the higher power in reverse. So they're being guided by something. Something that might, might be draining their energy. I heard their mental dexterity. You've got change in the wind. You also have um, loyal heart. You have thinker, 
There's something that they're sending towards um, someone in the collective, something towards their home. That's why I keep hearing mirror magic or portal magic. Um, they're being guided by something. You've got blessed underneath as well in reverse. Because they want you going towards uh, the wrong tribe. They want you going to they want you to co-create the wrong story or to take the wrong information on to create the wrong family. What family? All that glitters and it's in reverse. They want you to make what what choice is this? Who is it that's coming towards them? Who's coming towards the collective? Please and thank you. Clean it up. Somebody not for you, someone who is not for you. Somebody who is like going to try and rush you into some sort of choice. Clean it up and not for you. Changing the wind. This could be some. Why am I getting like an air sign? And this is somebody who's not destined for you, but someone who is going to. I feel like somebody is. Um, they're trying to figure out what your um, soulmate would be like. campfire do not do not fear opening your mouth and allowing your tongue to speak upside down this is why am i getting like one of their cousins they're getting someone in their family to come towards you why for what reason what well, i'm getting like it's either their actual cousin or they're working with someone's cousin And I can see them like cackling or laughing like they think they're being really clever. <laughs> like it's going to work. Cranberries, devour the truth and let it sink into the depths of all that came before and all that will come after. And then tea magic, reach into your subconscious, pull from the source and weave magic with intention and answers will unfold. Mead and wine, your presence embodied tasting the pleasure flowing from through your being someone here is being asked to um this is very much if you are a practicing witch you're being told to do um something to do with um if you're a kitchen witch especially something about herbs like herbal magic um something for your foresight using apple and apple seeds lighting a candle for your ancestors someone may, may want to give um, their ancestors some tea some coffee some brandy but there's also there's a truth and there's an apple in this one as well okay there's also animal totems that may be around you at the moment whatever animal is calling to you you're being guided because you've got foxes coming out here and snakes and or dragons as well as well as people someone here is being encouraged to do their candle magic if that's what you you know work with if you don't that's absolutely fine someone may be asked to light a candle for their ancestors and to up their protection because there is a lot of mirror magic smoke and mirrors happening here they want false information to come in and it's guided by heart space so this person is definitely projecting energy towards you or the person you're thinking of in your home i had sought all your corners Sort all your corners or put cacti in all of your corners. And I, this came up in one of my readings before talking about um, a symbol of power. Whatever your symbol of power is, it could be a cross, it could be an ankh, it could be the Celtic cross or the Celtic knot. Whatever it is for you, it could be, you know, um, a rune is placing it above your head where you sleep or uh, and or one under your pillow or under your bed. And like, um, I'm also hearing for those who use this already, um, taking fresh water and placing salt in it and putting it underneath your bed if you can. And it's almost, it works like a dream catcher in some way or catches negative energies. But there's truth that's gonna come to someone while they're sleeping. There may be a tea of some sort that you can drink with your ancestors that you can sit in quiet meditation. It may be like something like chamomile or berbena. Um, I'm trying to think of any of the other ones. It's those that it's the herbals that you take before you go to sleep to help you sleep better. They may actually help you. Wood betony for someone. I remember my mum has wood betony growing around her house abroad, and um, 
the first time she harvested it she didn't realize how strong it was and she crushed it up she brought some back and we both like she put heapfuls into our cups i swear both of us were dreaming with our eyes open like i couldn't feel my lips and when me and my mom were just staring at each other and she was like i think i put too much in it i was like i think you did and like we were so spaced out best dream so lucid seriously you only need a tiny little bit of wood betony i must say though as a legal disclaimer that if you are taking any type of medication if you are under the care of your doctor please ensure that you are speaking to your doctor before taking any herbal product because herbs are medicine okay and you some some aren't compatible with uh, pharmaceuticals now you've got root vegetables here in the hidden places where most fear to go is where the most nourishment is waiting for you to behold so there is definitely a truth that needs to come through be curious dear child and explore the world within worlds and it's upside down they're definitely trying to block something from your shadow from your dream space what is it that they're sending what's being sent towards the collective though what is it peppers in reverse be fierce about the ways in which you protect yourself allies away and it's upside down but they want you to be meek in the way that you protect yourself because foes await and on here it says banishing and it's in reverse they want you to invite something in they want you to invite something in which would be what obs obs observe for those who watch see all they don't want you to see this coming it's like a sneak attack and I see apples everywhere. Mm. If someone offers you like some fruits, don't take them into your home, don't touch them. Or someone talking about apples, like the, oh, the apple of my eye or something along those lines. It's giving me proper, um, is it snow white? It's giving me proper snow white vibes. Like, why do you like an apple? Just bite the apple apothecary cabinet without practice without befriending them they are strangers in your path so somebody who hasn't practiced for a while you're being asked to get back on it for those of you who don't practice and it's got an apple in there again if you haven't been praying for a while or you haven't been doing your affirmations or whatever it is that you do to cleanse your space and protect it you're being told to up this okay because someone's definitely sending this whoever this person is there what there's more than one person i feel like there were three and two of them are either out or they're not as focused as they were before and i don't know if this person who keeps changing their hair color or the way that they look has teamed up with someone else because there were three two of them are kind of tapped out and gone we don't really want to do this because they got some sort of karma something happened to them with the holding on way too tightly upside down yeah they were kind of like now we're done i feel like one of them may have passed over oh my gosh Oh my gosh, one of them may have passed over. And one of them was someone that they were in a relationship with. With love is strange in reverse. And this person has moved away from them. So somebody has passed over. Someone's moved away with Angel de los Muertos and um, tra transitioned to the spirit realm. Stop. Oh my gosh. Someone got drained. That was looking at me straight in the face. So there may have been a funeral. Or there's about to be. Someone's, does that miss me? And someone's really sick. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. I don't wish this on even on my um, worst enemies, man. Life should be sipped slowly with intention. Be patient as the vision reveals itself. This number down to a five is a change, right? Life should be sipped slowly with intention. Somebody had their life force slowly slipped away from them as karma for what they have been doing. What have they been doing? Oh my giddy aunt. And that love is strange on the other side, strange Valentine, it being in reverse. There was some sort of binding. I don't know if this person who keeps changing their hair color I don't know if this person had bound someone to them and that person has broken away. So the three are now one. And that one is trying to, either they're working with someone else or they're trying to bind someone to them, be that you or someone that they've got their sights on. Stop. 
Oh my gosh. Well, well, well. Pumpkin spice and apple cider. Cider, I was going to say vinegar, but the vinegar's not there. Nothing is more nostalgic than the joy of belonging in your presence. So this person may be heartbroken that they're not able to find someone anymore and they're trying to get them back. Against your will, there will not be. No entrance, no welcoming be gone. Someone got banished. Someone got banished. I don't know if this person, whoever it was that they were working with, who was bound to them vibrationally through a love spell, has banished them or someone's banished and they're now split. And this person may be trying to get them back. They're trying to bind something to you. They think it may be your fault. Or they blame you. They blame you in some way. Why? Oh my gosh. Nothing is more nostalgic than the joy of belonging in your presence. Because whoever it was that they were binding. Maybe this is somebody that was supposed to be with you. Oh. This person's waking up to their true calling. Or their true love. Or their true something. And this multicolored hair witch person, they banished them from you or bound them away from you. Oh, the drama. The absolute drama. And look what this... What's in the hand? What's in the flipping hand? An apple. An apple. This person's been enchanting whoever it is that was bound to them through their food. Oh, my gosh. I don't know if the person that they were bound to is uh, like either practices witchcraft or um, is very much into prayer and spirituality. Maybe they do lots of affirmations or their words are just like spells, but they blocked them. They were energy harvesting from them as well. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Okay, there's this one. Let's have a look. Let's see where this takes us down the rabbit hole. Oh my gosh, I need some water. My throat is dry. Oh my gosh. I just keep saying, oh my gosh. I don't know why. This is not my energy. I don't say, oh my gosh. Stalked, invaded and watched. They're blocked. Authentic, real and organic. Upside down. Both of those numbers condensed down to a four. This is a family. This could be a family unit. This could have literally been a mother, a daughter, and a husband. Or it could have been a mother, a son, and a and like a wife or something. It could have been a mother and a... I don't know. I'm getting matriarch of some sort. I feel like someone's... There's a matriarch or a mother-in-law that's about to perish or has perished. Oh my gosh. I feel like I'm reading out a, a script to a Spanish novella. Seriously. Oh my gosh. Misfit, loner and wanderer. Yeah. By yourself now. All by myself. Oh, by myself. Don't want to be all by myself. There's someone here that can't get into your energy. Stalked, invaded and watched. It's upside down. Either that or whatever it is that they're sending towards you is going to rebound straight away. Or they can't. it can't get into your home. It can't get into your home. Because I'm looking down here as well with this clean it up. And then not for you. And then I'm just looking. It's a chessboard, right? And you're, it's more or less saying that you're not playing that game. And there's even a face on this window like, uh, sorry, you're not coming in. It's reminding me of the program uh, Mighty Boosh. With Noel Fielding and Julian, what's his name? Julian Barrett. And um, it was like a sketch comedy show, um, like, it was like 10 years old maybe. And there was a sketch of the moon and it would be Noel Fielding's face, just like with like, almost like Mrs. Doubtfire, when, when he puts like the cake all over his face so that it looks like he's wearing a mask. And it's like, oh, when you are the moon, that's what it's giving me. It's really giving me the vibes of the moon. But it's almost like someone's, um, the energy of someone's home is like, nope, you're not coming in and we're not playing this game. Whatever you send, don't worry, because we'll send it back for you. Someone's looking after their home. And because they're looking after their home, their home's looking after them. And I really like that for you. Who is it that they're trying to send, though? 
and it says here unexpected ending surprise changes sudden shifts a misfit loner and wanderer somebody that you already know so they could have been trying to send some sort of um energy that doesn't it just doesn't match yours this could have been someone from the past especially with us having that message of ghost or christmas past so this could be somebody that you shared a christmas with before it could be an ex-lover it could be an ex-spouse it could be an ex-friend somebody that you just don't vibe with anymore because either you have um look faith in reverse trust unwavering and confidence someone that you just do not trust somebody that has an alternative viewpoint on life which is the make it or break it in either the relationship, be that platonic or romantic. And you just don't keep it with that person because they're a walking red flag. And you've got mortal, finite and fragile, the death will come. Yeah, yeah, this is somebody that you ended it with in some way or they ended it with you and it was a blessing. Uh, they may be trying to cast and get this person to come back to you. So they may not even be sending something to your home. For some, they, for some they're actually sending a spirit of some sort. For others, it literally could be that they are trying to manipulate someone from your past who no longer vibrates with you because you've healed the wound, you've moved on, and they're trying to send this person to your door. They want to bring drama to your door. Oh, me, oh, my. Yeah, but look, you've got Hunter here in reverse, aggressor, tracker, and provider. It ain't going to work. Well, whoever it is that comes forward, it's going to be more for closure than anything else. And you've got listen to advice, think clearly, and intellect. Exactly exactly this is the ending whoever it is that they're sending towards you they don't realize that um one you don't even have to open the door if you don't want to two if you've already healed from this this person coming forward is going to do nothing more than give you closure like real closure and that's it it's not going to break dredge anything up if you haven't completely healed from it it's really your choice whether or not you wish to speak to this person or whether this is the reason they're coming forward to help you heal that last bit by gaining that information on whatever it is that they need to be be telling you so that you get can get that closure because you've got rebellion in reverse upstart tumult and revolution they were they, they're thinking that it's going to shake your feathers or shake the cage that you're supposed to be in and it really isn't Training, consistency and practice is upside down. They were hoping it would knock you off of your perch. Why am I getting now like bird references? Anything else that we need to know? What's this a bit about against your will? Against your will. Religion, canon rules and commandments and thirst, craving, compulsion, obsession. This person is obsessed with you. They're literally like, spreading off conditions. Influence and impact is in reverse. They've been spreading lies or rumours. This is coming out a lot. Study, learning and education is upside down. Training, consistency and practice. This person, there's something about you doing something better than they do. Or you're able to capture people's hearts or inspire them in some way that they can't. And that I feel like somebody who is so supposed to be cross-watching you or stalking you became inspired by you and dead oh hot diggity somebody who was supposed to be watching you someone who was supposed to be like bullying you psychically bullying you online bullying you something along those lines actually has changed their view this their view or mindset on something about you because even though you may not have the same religious um, views, you still have rules and commandments and canon. And you're still, you know, that you're someone who is humble. And they thought that they wouldn't learn something from you. Mm. I want to know more. The consuming family and pressures of peers is upside down. So this, this could be either extended family or it's their extended family. There's people around them or maybe even this is a coven or I don't know what's going on with the people around them. The people around them are kind of like, they don't want, they're not involved or they don't want to be involved or people who were watching you and now changing their mind because they're realising that, that this person lied about something. What they lie about? I heard your character. Your character? This person is now looking thirsty, thirsty for attention, I heard. Rule breaker, risk taker, maverick, creator in reverse, catalyst maker, mother and father. This person's eyes are whited out. 
So they're seeing this person as just being money hungry or attention seeker. They're thirsty to be seen and to be valued. Okay, and it says burnt by the sun, ambition, extension and reach. Yeah, they'll do anything to get what they want. They'll do anything, anything. Even if it means, especially with internal struggle, personal challenges and wanting to improve, even if it means that they will step on other people, they don't care. People are seeing this. I heard for someone, they're, seeing, they're being seen as a sociopath. Remember, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a therapist, I cannot diagnose anyone with that in any way, shape or form. But that's the energies that are coming out, that's the vibes that people are seeing from this, this person. It's all a costume, there you go. Dripping in gold, gold on black. I don't know if this person wears a lot of gold and black. I don't know if that is like, why am I getting that? Whoever they were with may have been in the music industry or may have been a rapper or a singer or maybe that's their name, gold on black. Maybe they wore a lot of gold chains or gold rings or had a gold grill. I don't know. There's something there. Gold bars is what I heard. Conflict is upside down. Hearth throw, bright stave choices, decision making, hearth. The game between desire and destiny, the dance of life, brings things to fruition, initiation, sensual intercourse, rebirth, mystery, fertility, laughter, music, secret, divination, and chance. And then you've got conflict upside down. So this person, whatever it is that they have been doing, that's supposed to bring in um like something into fruition for them. They use some sort of sensual intercourse as a way to manifest. And it's got music on here as well. So maybe that was how they were binding whoever it was that they were with. But it, it was a risk. It was a risk and it didn't work for them. Because somebody's healed some sort of inner conflict. Or somebody that was around them has healed some sort of inner conflict. I heard because of you and your words or because of your presence, your energy. Especially if nothing is more nostalgic than the joy of belonging in your presence. So I don't know if whoever it is that's coming towards you. It may actually be the person that they were with. Mm. My throat gone dry the minute I said that. That it might be the person that they were with is coming towards you. Maybe this person was supposed to come towards you. I don't know. I literally cannot tell you. What I can tell you, though, is this person is dumbfounded. There's some, they, they're competing with you, and it's almost like a secret, a secret competition or a secret game. I mean, you even look at this chess, this chessboard, and it says it's not for you. You're not even playing a game. You're not interested. You're literally not interested. There is someone... I feel like there's more than one energy coming towards you and one of them isn't for you. With Treasure like Island in reverse, low heart in reverse. This is why you're being asked to clean something up. It doesn't matter if your home is looking after you. There's still a need to cleanse. I'm looking around um, the place that I'm living at. Is there anywhere that I need to give it a good scrub? But this is more to... It's not about like doing a deep clean. It's more of getting rid of clutter removing like a, a, the layer of dust if there is any giving the floor a really good sweep with intention you know sweeping it out of the you know out of your home sweeping out conflict mm. forged documents bribery secrets lies and jail time well i never the drama unfolds what have you been doing it's going to say lovely witch. She's not though, is she? So this is what she does. There's something here with using water to enchant. This came up before in other readings using Venus as well. This person may work with Venus. Change in job field or industry. I feel like this is coming in for you. And look, second house, work and money. And it's in reverse. So this person may have to get another job. They may be kicked out of the job that they're in. They may work in the same industry as you. Going broke, debts, fraud, tight-fisted, controlling, embezzlement, illegal transactions. Oh, where did that come out in here? There's something, that, yeah, this person is up, um, they're up Ish Creek. They really are. Losing their job, there you go, losing their job. Low moral compass, stealing other people's possessions, blocked from the law of abundance, drawing in low, dense energy and entities, unreliable, flippant, lazy, repossession of home and car bankruptcy. Oh my gosh. Why do I keep saying, oh my gosh, oh my gosh? 
someone's ancestor likes to say that quite a lot. So <laughs> someone else, someone else's ancestor said that's because they are very, very white. <laughs> I can say that because I'm part white. Okay, um, that's funny. Oh my gosh! And they said white the way that um, Stewie out of Family Guy says "cool whip." <laughs> I don't know whose ancestors are here, but they're funny. They are making me laugh. Yeah, this person is going to have to change their industry, change their job, change whatever it is that they're doing. Not just change their hair or change what they're wearing. They need to change their entire flipping life. Like, you need to change your priorities. Change your priorities. Oh my gosh. Uh, anything else we need to know? And I'm seeing... um. Wild and out, wild and out. I love watching the clips of that when they do the roasting sessions. And there's something here about someone's ancestors are roasting this person out big time. Oh my gosh, court ruling. We've got court ruling coming out, and it says uh, more court ruling is going to be happening to some sort of mean girl, somebody who fought in the next seven to ten days. Shut the front door and sit down at the table. Oh uh, my gosh. I can't stop saying, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Cool whip. It says here, obsessed by social media, vanity, designer brands only, ignoring boundaries, sugar daddy pays for nothing, entitled, loves gossip and petty queen. Or someone is going to be dragged through the courts apparently in the next seven to ten days. Human resources. There's something about complaining They've been complaining that their spells aren't working. Who are they complaining to? I heard their ancestors aren't listening. They've had enough. They're not listening. Limiting views. You are wrong. I am right. Multiple streams of income. This person was trying to drain something from you, but they, I heard you, they didn't work for it or they didn't earn it. This is why they're getting such bad karma. Or maybe you've got candle magic coming out as well. Whoever it is that's about to pass over into the transitions into the spirit realm is because they did too much. They were trying to drain someone else and their karma is that their energy is being drained away. That, this is getting real, man. Multiple streams of income. This is what I mean. It's going back to this person was paid to hold other people's grudges as well. They were paid to hold other people's grudges because you've got obsessed, unalive spells, even essential thoughts about you, polyamorous, love spells, sensual dreams. And you've got tax refund upside down, 10 figures or more. They were, they were energy harvesting in every way they could. Let me see what card it was that came and fell on the floor. <laughs> Pardon me, really buffy. Nine of Pentacles, they were doing this to you because you are very affluent, you are very abundant, you are independent, you're single, you are that B, irrespective of gender, and they don't like it. They don't like you can make things grow. They don't like that you're doing it by yourself, and they don't like it that people are looking at you in a nice way because that person is side-eyeing you. They have to bind, they have to steal, they have to harvest to get people to even turn their head towards them because you are having a personal powerful growth because you're authentic and they're not. They're literally not. And I don't know what this person, this this thing with this unaliving spells, right? It's coming back on a family member. That's when you know, like the last readings I was doing, it was someone's ancestors being like, you need to stop. You literally need to stop what you're doing and then going, no. I'm going to keep going. This person is obsessed. Oh my gosh. Oh, what's happening with the court ruling, please and thank you, in the next seven to ten days? What's happening with that? This is because of the, it's the dark ish that they've been doing is catching up with them. Something to do with like um, debts and fraud and embezzlement, illegal transactions. Yeah, illegal transactions, man. You've got storm warning coming out, eight figures or more in reverse. They may have been doing some sort of money washing. Because I, can, I can't understand how that they would have eight figures or more unless they've been doing this for a really long flipping time. I had access denied. Access denied keeps coming up in my readings. I don't know if they've been trying to get into your emails, if they've been trying to get into banking apps, but they 
if you have um, like the two-step verification or the four-step verification, whatever it is, that they need to have a special code to be able to get in, this person keeps trying and trying and trying, and you may get a ping up on your phone saying, oh, Google, here's the number for Google, or here's the number for iPhone, or here's a number for blah, 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 because this person keeps trying to get into your phone, and we had that card of Poe which was to do with try something different, changes coming in, and wisdom with technology in reverse. This person can't hack you. They can't get into your energy. They can't get into your tech. And this person's panicking. Because they've left some sort of paper trail. Or whoever it is that they were with, whether it is their mother-in-law, like confessing before they go up into the ethers or down into the ethers, depending on what you believe, or whether this is whoever they were with, who they had bound to them, like spell bound to them, now going, I'm gonna spill everything. This person is literally by themselves. That's why they're trying to bind something to you. And you've got storm warning here with high glass. Go for it. Send what you need to send, okay? Because it's just you're sending it to yourself. When you try and curse someone else, you're cursing yourself. You literally are not only just cursing yourself, you're cursing generations after you. Those are your, that's your karmic debt. Oh my gosh. Storm warning as well. When you have Haglas there, that's more or less saying you can throw whatever you want because what it's going to do is plant seeds of growth. Haglas is large, dangerous hailstones falling from the sky, but when they hit the ground, they turn into seeds and they grow and they become abundant. This person needs to learn. And look, the law of abundance is working in your favour. Exactly. Oh my goodness. Anything else about this court ruling that we need to know about? Tell me about this court ruling. Tell me, tell me. The centaur. This is Sagittarius, ninth house, wisdom and travel. Expansion, idealism. Uh, direct, good-natured, learning, mystic or, or psychic. No, me, excuse me. Medium or psychic. Cross-cultural relations. Travel back, let's see the world. Strong mor moral nature. Going by the book, connection to the divine, continuous need to grow, ethical, speak without filter, omnism, religion, spiritual, philosophy. So someone's on the up and up. Someone's going to have either a change in their job field or, in, or um, industry or in their paycheck. And it's coming in through Sagittarius. Have a look at where Sagittarius is in your birth chart because the law of abundance is working in your favour, baby. Someone is going to be getting a lot of money. A lot of money. You've got Fehu coming out as well. In the bright state, it's abundance, wealth, fertility, spiritual riches, money and success. Because this dark witch who loves creating chaos, they're, they're having to try and cleanse this stuff off of them. They can't cleanse this stuff off of them. They're going to keep trying and trying and trying. But you are the one that's getting these finances coming in. And there's going to be, there's already been a court ruling in the ethers over what they've done. Now, there may be a court ruling happening in the next seven to ten days in the ethers. But I feel like there's something happening in this realm. Y'all serious? This could be a tarot reader. Or this could be someone who is just... They have their own cards and they are constantly reading you or they pay someone to read you. If you've had car engine issues, brakes not working properly or a collision, they could have had a hand in this. Okay. Manners. But it's look, the thing is, you're, you're, you're going to heal from whatever injuries you had. Please remember, I'm not a doctor. And to work with your doctor or physiotherapist, if this is something that resonates with you. But you are going to heal from this. You do have a lot of people around you or energies around you that are looking after you with manas coming out. That are going to let you know, that will make you aware that someone or something is draining your life force. So there's a need here also for someone to smoke cleanse. I keep coming back, keep smoke cleansing and cleansing and doing cord removals because at this time, this person is very, very focused on trying to defocus you so that you aren't looking at what it is that you're supposed to be doing on your life purpose because you doing what you're supposed to be doing on your life purpose highlights what they've been doing to try and keep you off of it. 10,000 per month increase in paying clients to your business. Listen, you're on your up and up no matter what this person tries to do. No, you don't need to take that one. Okay, this is going to be the last one before I go, my beautiful souls. 
you know, you've got on here. I allow my mind to wander where, with the stars. And when I refocus, I remember my potential for spiritual greatness is upside down. I walk in nature to ground myself and to feel aligned with Mother Earth. If you are having, you know, if you're having a difficult time at the moment, you're being reminded how flipping awesome you are, how strong you are. And to get yourself outside, even if it's only for five minutes to go and touch a tree. You know, if you feel weird about hugging a tree in public and people looking at you, that's absolutely fine. Go just put, rest your hand on it, vibe with it for a little bit. Let Mother Nature help, you know, replenish you. Um, there, there is a need to ensure that even though you are focusing on what your purpose is and what your job is, and make sure that you're taking time for yourself to just walk in nature, even if it is only for that five minutes. Or bring in nature to you. Get yourself some dried rose petals. Make yourself a bubble bar. And go and have that 10 minutes by yourself before the kids come bursting through the door or your dog comes in and goes, what are you doing? Whatever that may be, where you can kind of quiet your mind a little bit and cleanse yourself. Cleanse, you know, energetically cleanse yourself and pour back into yourself because we all need that. Anything else that needs to come out before I go, please and thank you. Oh, baby. I charge water under the full moon's rays and drink it with intention to bring in good vibrations. The thing is, I change that to the full the full moon, but the sun, I don't I don't actually use the moon because it's a pale imitation of the sun. I use the sun when it's a full moon. I actually use the, the sun rays instead because you know it's vitamin D. We are the children of Ra, of the sun, of the universe. Um and I'd rather warm myself with that set intention and vibrations in the cold, cold moon, but that's just me, okay? I use a pendulum and ask my spirit guides yes or no questions so I know I am on the right path to fulfilling my spiritual destiny. Again, you don't have to use a pendulum. You can literally, in your mind's eye, see a swinging clock, or you know those, what they're called, they're those tick tock, tick tock, and it hits. It's like a pendulum, but it's not one that you hold. It's got loads of balls on it. You could see that if you wanted to and use the same thing, swing for yes, circle for no. And, you know, kind of test your intuition. I'm selective about who I share my presence with and my, and set boundaries to protect myself and my energy. Someone at the moment is really being asked to tap into their energy and into their intuition because I do feel like this person is really trying to push boundaries. And I feel like someone needs to cleanse their aura or cleanse their space because, again, with that energy of overindulgence, this person wants you to be, they want you to be viewed in a certain way because I feel like they eat their feelings or they overspend or they smoke or they drink too much or something along these lines and they don't like the fact that you don't. Or if you do any of those things, you don't, you do them in moderation and they don't like it. They, I heard they want to poke a hole in your aura. And it says here, the colours of nature remind me of vibrant, the vibrancy of both my inner and outer worlds. This is why someone needs to go out into nature if you haven't been doing so, or at least bring nature to you. Okay, I'm going to leave it there. I really hope that gave you some confirmation and clarity in what you already intuitively knew. If you are new to my channel and that resonated for you, I would love for you to hit on the like, the subscribe and the notification bell so you can see more of my content. And if you are a returning subscriber, hearts, kisses, stay awesome. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.